So this is a video you guys have all been waiting for. That's the uh, in the bag for 2014-2015 season. I'm not going to go too much into detail about this stuff, all the gear, because I don't want this to be an hour video of me uh, just talking about gear. So uh, yeah, we'll get this started. So first, we got the uh, Vaughn VPC 8000 neck guard. Uh, I, I don't. I like this one a lot more than the regular Vaughn that most pros and stuff use. Just because it's, as you can tell, it's a little more flexible, just more comfortable, and it goes higher up on the neck, so it protects a little bit more. And it's also not just the neck guard; there's a little, there's foam right here to protect, so that's nice. Uh, for the jock, I don't know why you'd want to care, but it's a Ventus LT90 double cup, does the job. For undergarments, uh, I use uh, Bauer. Uh, it's got the Poron XRD uh, foam. And it's got it on the knees right here and on the inside thigh. Uh, it's just more comfort and just it's more comfortable when you go down the butterfly and adds a little bit more protection, so why not? And uh, yeah, for the uppers, all I use is just long sleeve uh, Under Armour shirts. For uh, knee pads, I use the, the new Reebok model. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the model's called. I actually used to use Reebok P2s for, for a long time, but uh, I decided to try these out and they're actually some really nice knee pads. I find it's a good mix of like the uh, old gray Reebok pads, the knee pads with, and then a mix of the P2s. Um, it's got a hard plastic shell right here at the knee, uh, so it protects the puck. And then as you can tell, I also added the Coho uh, carbon fiber plates, so it protects uh, up top and covers more of the five hole. And I also added a Vaughn garter belt just to hold the knee pads up. Um, then I use Bauer, just some Re Bauer Edge, Reebok Edge type material socks, just breeze a little bit more than the normal knit socks. Pants, I use the uh, Vaughn Pro Return, uh, they're Martin Jones from the LA Kings, uh, nothing too special. Uh, I added this from some of my, one of my old Reebok pants, it's just a little extra protector right here. Uh, just it's a little it's soft so a puck hits there it's gonna kind of cradle it and just cover hold in more rebounds um, this whole season I've been using the Vaughn V6 2200 uh, which is a great chest protector but I recently just started using the Bauer NXG this is a pro return actually it's a all black uh, Laurent Brassois using the Edmonton Oilers organization uh, yeah it's an all black pro return uh, it's nothing really too crazy. Uh, obviously, it's beefed up for the NHL or an, an AHL. And it's, I also added this uh, pillow under the shoulder plate, or sorry, the shoulder floater, sort of like a Vaughn. It just uh, lifts up the shoulders a little bit more, and it's just a little bit more added protection. So, yeah. Skates, I use the VH footwear. Uh, if you've been living under a rock, uh, these are some of the best goalies, actually the best goalie skates out there. They're all custom for the most part. Um, and I'd say by three years or so, just about every NHL goalie is going to be wearing these. Uh, they're all custom to your foot, like I said, and you can get anything done to them. Uh, these are pretty much stock for the most part. I just have uh, the Lundqvist boot strap right there to run my uh, strap through behind the heel. And one thing is the, the guy who made these shaved down the cowling and he added some carbon fiber to protect the inside of the boot. So there's no uh, cowling hitting here. So it's just uh, easier when you're pushing so there's no cowling hitting the ice. So just get a better push. For the helmet, I've been using this guy for about three years. Uh, this is the same pro's choice that I actually made a video on it probably two years ago. Uh, it's the same one, it's just got a paint job over it. Um, I didn't know who I was going to play for until basically like the start of the season. So it's not, that's why there's no uh, custom paint job. But uh, I got it painted uh, all white. Uh, it's actually a pearl white, it's not just a plain white, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but um, yeah, I got pearl white just because my pads aren't uh, white. They're not plain white, They're, they have like a pearl kind of hue to them. So that's the mask. Uh, I added a Maltese chin sling and then the same back plate from last year. So that's the pro's choice. All right, so for gloves, I'm using Factory Mad. They're not called PQ gloves. They're called Factory Mad. That's what the brand's called. 
Uh, there's a guy in Michigan named Dennis Dombrowski. Sorry, Dennis, if I said your name wrong. But uh, he makes all this gear, the gloves and the pads I'm using, and uh, makes some great gear. It's all made in the USA, so it's not made in China or anything like that. And it's some great quality gear and just awesome gear all around. Uh, these are the Thomas model, the blocker and catcher. Uh, the graphics are pad skins. And uh, yeah, so there's the gloves and blocker. Uh, before we get to the pads, I change around with sticks. Uh, these are the sticks I've been switching around with, but for the most part, I've been using uh, Sergei Bobrovsky Warriors. But uh, I'll show you all that I've been using. So this one, so this one is uh, Dan Ellis Bauer 7500. Uh, the reason I spray paint them all black is because they don't match my team colors. Like this one, for instance, was bright orange. It's from the Anaheim Ducks, so I wasn't going to use that. So I just spray painted them all black. And uh, yeah, it's Carbon Elite Bauer 7500. There's the name bar. Here's the curve. I use all heel curves. It's just what I prefer. It's easier to shoot with, in my opinion. Uh, this one's a Garrett Sparks Reebok uh, 11K, I think. Uh, yeah, it's got Garrett Sparks on the name bar and another heel curve. And this is what I've been using for the most part of the season. It's a Warrior, uh, Sergei Bobrovsky. This is actually a composite handle. It's got a foam core uh, paddle, so it's, a little, it's so it's lighter and just I feel like it's more balanced. Um, and then curve on this. You can tell why I've been using this for the most for the most part of the season. It's got a really big heel curve on there. So for pads, I'm using uh, the Factory Mad Pads, like I said. Um, there's no break on these, but they're not as stiff as a board as you think. They're actually very soft pads. And the good thing about having straight or uh, no break and straight pads is when you go on the butterfly, the pucks actually hit the pad. For the most part, they end up hitting, uh, going into the corner, which is really uh, so. That's why I've got a no break. Um, straps, I don't use very much straps at all. I use just the top calf strap and the bottom knee strap, and I put them all into one buckle, so it looks something like that. And then I run that knee velcro down to the calf, and then yeah, the knee's completely open. Then I have a little flap right here, just cover some more surface area. And then uh, the leather boot strap to go around on the Lundy boot strap. So that's it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, some more videos to come.